Hey, what's up guys? This is Brad back with you after a long week of uh, no listing and no shipping. So I've got a few sales now because I haven't been listing, you know, the algorithm kind of works against you when you're not active. So some things did sell. I could have sold more if I was continually, list, continually listing. Uh, but since my last video, I did sell a few more things that's not going to be on this list, so I do want to recap. Um, there was a Kooky Creatures horse puppet. Uh, his name was Derby, and uh, he had a little bit of damage on it. I think I picked it up at the bins for about a dollar, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then I had a Parasound remote control uh, that ended up selling for $29.99 plus um, free shipping so I covered that but that came from um, one of the uh, resellers that I know he had a garage sale he got rid of some of his uh, small items that he just wanted to get rid of and focus on more expensive things and that was in the lot so um, I've already paid off what I paid him I think I paid $15 for a bin full of remotes so about 50 cents per remote there so that's a great return on investment um, but now we can go ahead and get into uh, what sold during the week while I was away. So like on the last video I stated, I don't do vacation mode. I do intend to answer questions, so I don't want my uh, potential buyers to get message saying that I'm not um, currently available. I always want to stay available uh, because I believe the sales are going to work in your favor if you're available, right? So I did extend the... Um, shipping and handling time from my normal one day time to uh, five days so here we are tomorrow will be the time to start shipping what sold last weekend so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these things together I'm gonna show you what sold all right so the first thing here is this is actually another puppet um, it is not a kooky creatures it is a folk menace puppet uh, these I've heard done can do very well certain ones are better than others but this is a uh, uh, seal you know you know the difference between a seal and a sea lion I heard at the zoo the trainer told us that uh, lions have ears and so do sea lions like the little ear flaps so if there's no ear flap on this guy it is a seal so this is a seal um, and I don't think it has any actual name to him but it's pretty cool this guy sold for, um, let's see, got it pulled up here, nineteen ninety nine. It was free shipping, so very good on that one. Let me get my, I got a better list here. Here we go. All right, so I think I only had like a a dollar or two into that one. Uh, my, the next item that sold here uh, is actually something that I got. Uh, I guess you could call it online arbitrage. Uh, this is a Lego set. It was exclusive through uh, Lego.com. Only for VIP members, which you could be a VIP member for free, but you just have to have an account. And it was only available if you had VIP, VIP points. So... Basically, you would, uh, at the time that that launched, everyone pretty much rushed in and tried to use their VIP points and get this deal. I was there at the very first minute that I could snag that up because I have seen what this is selling for online. It was up somewhere around 115, 125 before they launched this second release because there was one last year. And the second release here, because it did get re-released, it did drop the demand slightly, so the price I sold it for was not as high, but I did sell it for $94.99, and I got it for free. So it is an amazing uh, return on investment there. So uh, no complaints there. And let's see, the next one here is I've got this lot of seven... Uh, Transformers Play School Heroes um, got them here in a bag I don't ship them I don't keep them in these bags this is how I store them I typically ship things in a more uh, professional looking poly bag like these which you can find a bulk 
amount of uh, it just looks better than a Ziploc bag in my opinion and I try to make everything look as professional as possible when I am shipping because I appreciate getting things uh, professionally done when I order stuff but yeah these little guys uh, I've told you I'll probably pick up things here and there I don't always find them all at the same time um, so I kind of collect them and once I get a good bit of them that can equal a good value I'll I'll put them up so I probably got maybe uh, 50 cents into each one of these so we'll say about three dollars and fifty cents maybe four fifty we'll say um, but these sold for $29.99 plus shipping uh, so that's going to be a good one there and then the next one I've got here was kind of surprising when I found it I found this guy in the bins I found uh, those transformers in the bins as well, um, but this guy here, if you can tell, that is Walter White from Breaking Bad with his uh, hazmat suit. Um, it's pretty interesting. I didn't know, you know, that children's toys would make something like that apparently it was a blind bag special series three or something like that um but probably got like 10 cents maybe a quarter into that and it sold for 10 bucks free shipping so it'll ship pretty light so it wouldn't really cost me too much all right so the next thing i got here is some tidy whities i uh, got some right behind me here so a pack of three cost me about 37 cents. So someone bought um, a listing that I put up for three three packs, so nine total altogether, a dollar eleven about in, and they sold for 39.99 free shipping. Uh, I did do free shipping because it is two pounds, but I can fit it into a flat rate envelope which in most cases it's a better deal than trying to trying to put it in a box or anything like that uh, it's eight dollars and twenty cents right now as far as the flat rate goes and of course I will put that regular poly bag on there first to protect it uh, just in case uh, something happens to that flat rate envelope so the more covered you have on your item the better just in case there are accidents um, but I told the story about these I found a huge uh, bin of them. They were slow moving at the thrift store. Asked what they wanted for all of them. There's about 300. They asked 100. Um, so I took all of them and I'm making roughly $8 uh, per three pack. So I'm already in the profit for these and I'm actually running very low. Uh, that was a size 34. I have plenty of those and those are actually vintage. They're from the year 2000. Um, and then some of them I'm running out on like the 30 size 36, right? All right, so the next one I've got here is a Ben 10 watch. I did show you guys this on the Walgreens clearance. I listed it. Um, I comped it. It wasn't looking like it was a, a great um, resale value, uh, but I did sell it for $14.99 plus shipping. I only got like 2 or $3 into that, so uh, still a good return on that. And let's see, the next one here is something I found at Goodwill. Typically, I'll find complete Lego sets in the bin sometimes, randomly. They're there. Um, but uh, they ended up putting this out on the sales floor. So this Lego set, it is Super Mario um, set 71380. And it's just a way to make your own. A uh, little adventure, and it has. I think this guy is Lemmy. Um, I'm not sure, man. I, I I know some of them. I know Ludwig and and Wendy and some of the other weird ones. Uh, but uh, they only had five bucks on this, so of course I picked it up. Now I am a Lego investor. You can see the Lego sets that I have uh, right behind me. Uh, those I'm holding on to. This box had some damage to it, um, and I just don't think there's too much value in this particular set that I need to hold on to it. So I went ahead and listed it for the going rate. It's $34.99 plus shipping. 
Um, so good return there. And the next set here, well, not not set, but item. Let me grab this. Is a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Cupcake. Um, Easter colorway is what I found when I was comping this. So that's what we have here. I've got probably 50 cents into this. $11.99 free shipping. Um, it's going to go in a, a clear poly bag and then a um, gray poly bag. So I guess double poly bag just for extra protection. Um, but it is very soft, doesn't have any hard parts that will scratch or break. So we can ship that in a bag without worrying about it getting damaged. And um, it'll ship very light that way. That's why I do that. All right, so let's see. The next item here we have is more tidy whities And I think that's all we have uh, moving forward. Three more sales here. So I sold two three packs of these size 36 again 37 cents into each one um, these alone sell for $14.99 of course when you buy the three pack it's a better deal I made it that way for the customer so that they would be more enticed to buy three packs um, and feel like they're getting a good deal that way I can move it a little bit quicker but I also have these one packs you know the two pack offers I have don't sell very well so uh, these three packs are uh, and the one pack so $14.99 each again. It's about eight dollars profit every time I sell one three pack and then the last one was Three three packs of size 34 again now these are vintage and you can tell the the white band here is the actual vintage ones the other ones that aren't vintage are gray bands. I don't know why they swapped that around, but these are from the year 2000. The gray ones are from the year 2003. So not technically vintage if we go by the actual 20 year rule, right? So again, those will ship in a poly bag plus the um, priority flat rate uh, padded envelope at a rate of $8.20. So um, those are the sales, um, again, for a week's worth, it was pretty good. I made a good bit of money there. Could have made more if I was listing, but again, I had other priorities. Uh, but now I'm back and just wanted to share that with you guys. So now I'm back to one day shipping and handling and I can continue to share my success with you guys. And again, if you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments and I will definitely answer them in the next video. And until next time, Go out there, eye it, buy it, flip it, and ship it. See you guys.